This introduction is to ensure that hand or radio communications protocols are followed in all mechanical lifting operations at company installations and facilities. Communications used during lifting operations using either hand signals or radios must be clear and understood in order to be effective in maintaining control and ensuring the safety of everyone involved. Personnel must understand the following. Hand signals are the primary means of controlling a lifting operation due to their clarity and simplicity without differing languages. Radios can be used for conversations relating to the task and or to control the lifting operation, but careful planning and risk assessment must be carried out to ensure this is effective. When a banksman is assigned to the lifting operation, he is the only person that gives instructions to the lifting appliance operator. The only exception to this is the emergency stop signal, which can be given by anyone to prevent an incident. At any time the communications are not effective, understood, or when other people cause a conflict of communication, then the lifting operation must stop immediately. Hand signals must be used as the primary means of communication for all lifting operations where a banksman is used. A standard list of hand signals is available and must be used on all installations and facilities. These hand signals allow the clear banking of a lifting operation without the need for interpretation or any equipment issues associated with using radios. These hand signals are available in the Health and Safety Policies and Requirements Manual and must be clearly displayed on the installation or at the facility. When hand signals are used, they must be clearly seen by the lifting appliance operator. If at any time the operator does not understand the signal, the signal stops or cannot be seen, then the lifting operation must stop immediately. Although the lifting of personnel or man riding is a lifting operation, there needs to be a slightly different standard of hand signals to ensure clear communications are made. A standard list of hand signals for man riding is available and must be used on all installations and facilities. These hand signals are available in the Health and Safety Policies and Requirements Manual and must be clearly displayed on the installation or at the facility. Again, if at any time the operator does not understand the signal, the signal stops or cannot be seen, then the lifting operation must stop immediately. In today's worldwide operations, radios play an important role in communication. With all the different languages and even accents out there, the possibility of misunderstanding is real. Here is some critical information to consider when using radios. Training must be given on the correct verbal communications while using radios. Using the correct verbal commands will prevent any misunderstanding between personnel during lifting operations. Talk slowly and clearly. Don't swear or shout. This will only make other personnel confused. Use clear sentences, making them brief and direct. Avoid having a drawn-out conversation. Remember, other people use radios as well and may be listening in or waiting for the channel to clear. Speak across the microphone, but not too close as this will distort your voice. Ensure that instructions are understood. Ask them to repeat your message if required. Remember that other people using radios may come from a different part of the world and may not always speak the same first language. The following guidelines will assist in effective communication. Clear. When using a radio, speak clearly into the handset. Concise. Be concise in your communication. Stick to the point and keep it brief. Correct. Ensure the correct radio protocol is followed. Confirm. Confirm that the message has been received and understood by all involved. It's important that personnel who are using radios have a good understanding of phrases and their meanings. By using standard phrases, it will help to make the communications clearer and understood. Remember that if any message is unclear, ask for that message to be repeated. But at no time should the lifting operation continue until clear communications are understood. Depending where we come from, the language and dialect we speak or due to background noise, it is often difficult to pick out some of the detail in a message. In order to assist in making communications clearer, then radio users can use the phonetic alphabet to spell out words or equipment codes. If there is a problem with understanding, 
then it's important that the word is spelt out using the phonetic alphabet and relayed back to you. For understanding, try using the phonetic alphabet to spell your name. When the drill floor wants to get in contact with the deck for an item required, the conversation would be as follows. Deepwater deck, this is Deepwater drill floor, over. Deepwater drill floor, this is Deepwater deck, go ahead, over. Deepwater deck, okay, we require the Weatherford power tongue up to the rig floor. It's in basket BD4. That's Brava Delta 4, copy, over. Drill floor deck, message received. That's basket Bravo Delta 4, over. The banksman informs the crane operator that the drill floor has requested the Weatherford power tong to the rig floor. This is located in a half-height container in the storage bay. The first part of the lift is blind, as the crane operator cannot see the load or the banksman. During any blind lift, it's important that the communication between the crane operator and banksman is maintained. The banksman must keep in communication by short bursts of information to the crane operator. Remember, you are the crane operator's eyes. The following is an example. Port crane main deck. Load has been checked. Personnel clear. Pick up easy. Over. Main deck port crane roger. Picking up easy. Out. Port crane main deck. Keep coming up easy. Keep coming up. Keep coming up. All stop. Over. Main deck port crane. All stop. Over. Port crane main deck. Boom up and maintain the load. Over. Main deck port crane. Roger. Booming up and maintaining the load. Over. Port crane main deck. Keep booming up and maintain the load. All stop. Over. Main deck port crane. All stop. Over. Port crane main deck. Swing left. You have the load. Over. Main deck, I have visual on the load. Swinging towards the drill floor. Over. On instruction from the crane operator that he has visual on the load, keep feeding information in a clear, steady voice. Port crane main deck, keep swinging left towards the drill floor. Over. Main deck port crane, swinging left towards the drill floor. Over. Port crane main deck, all stop. Main deck, port crane. All stop. At this point, the banksman contacts the drill floor to inform them they are in a position to continue with the load into the drill floor area. The conversation would continue with. Break, break, drill floor. Main deck, over. Main deck, drill floor. Go ahead, over. Drill floor, be advised we are ready to position the tongs when you are ready. Over. Main deck, drill floor. Stand by until I give you a call to proceed. Over and out. Drill floor will go. Over and out. Break. Break. Port crane. Main deck. Over. Main deck. Port crane. Roger. I copied that transmission. Standing by. Over. Remember, hand signals are the primary means of communication during all lifting operations where a banksman is required. Using the correct hand signals at all times will eliminate any confusion or misunderstanding. Use the correct voice procedures. Be clear, brief, and direct. Avoid having a long conversation. Remember, speak across the microphone, but not too close. Try to avoid any background noise if possible, as this will distort your voice. Ensure that the person has understood your instruction. Ask them to repeat your message back to you. At any time the communications are not effective, understood, or when other people cause a conflict of communication, then the lifting operation must stop immediately.